Signet presents stories for children. This is the story of Cada, the cannibal, and how he was saved. One time, as Gurnanik, Bala, and Mardana were walking in their travels, they became lost. Actually, lost on purpose from the Guru. He knew where he was. They came to this huge, big forest, very dark, very thick with trees and shrubs, and no one around. Because the people in that area knew that within that forest was a very, very vicious man. He was a cannibal. A cannibal is someone who eats other people. Very, very, very. Bad and gross, and they knew to stay away. But Mardana, Bala, and Gurnanik went into the forest, and they had gone a ways into the deep, deep, dark forest. And of course, Gurnanik found a tree to sit under, to meditate. A beautiful tree. Mardana bowed and said, "Oh, my Guru, we are very hungry." I will go and see if there are any berries or fruit we can eat in the jungle. Mardana was always a little bit hungry. The guru said, "Yes, Mardana, go, but be careful." So Mardana headed out through the forest, looking here and looking there. Sat Nam Vahe Guru, Sat Nam Vahe Guru, and Kada saw him from his cave. There's my supper. People are coming by finally. I will have some real meat to chew on. He only had to eat berries and nuts, and he was very hungry. He always kept his big pot on the fire, bubbling with oil, hot oil to cook his food. He took his rope and went and grabbed Mardana. Tied him up and began to take him to his cave. And Mardana did not scream and yell, but in his mind he was thinking, "Why, Guru? Why, Guru? Why, Guru? Why, Guru? Why, Guru? Why, Guru? Praying to Guru Nanak in his mind. And of course, Guru realized that Mardana was in trouble and needed him. Come, Bala, let us go find Mardana. He needs us now. So, Mardana was in the Kada's cave. Oh, he was really worried. He saw the bubbling oil. He saw him cutting up roots and things to add to it. He thought, "Oh no, I'm going to be boiled like a potato pakora in hot ghee." <laughs> so then he looked up and he saw two more people coming, and he thought. Oh, what a lucky day! I will have food for a very long time. Two people for my pot. <laughs> and he grabbed another rope and he headed out. But as he ran towards Guru Nanak, with this lust and hate in his mind and heart, all of a sudden he realized he hit the light of Guru Nanak's aura, and it all was gone. <laughs> He couldn't even think of doing anything wrong, and he was just helpless. And he fell at the guru's feet, and he said, "What has happened to me?" And then he looked up at the guru's face, and he said, "I knew someone would come to save me, because when someone does really bad things in their heart and their minds." They're not happy. 
He was most unhappy, lived all alone. No one would come near him. Everyone feared him. There was no happiness in his life. And he realized in the light of Nanak what this meant, what his life had been like. And Granonic took his hand and lifted him up and said, God is all compassion and forgiveness. Change your ways. If your honesty is pure and you really, truly want to change, you will be forgiven. All things come from God and all things go to God. The heavens believe in your future. You are a child of God. Everyone is a child of God. You belong to God. You shall be forgiven. And Kada said, Please teach me. Remind me of the truth. And Gurus did. Of course, in the meantime, Bala had untied Mardana. Oh, thank God the Guru is here. I am saved. But the Guru stayed. Kada, who never took a bath, who never washed his hair, who was such a wild, scary-looking man, he changed totally. He had beautiful hair. He tied his turban. He put on beautiful clothes that Gurnanak had for him. And he left that forest and walked all throughout the land helping people and kind to people and no one ever knew that that was the same scary old cannibal because he never was that again and to the end of his days he was devoted and loved the guru that was a really nice story for more go to seeknut.com Flash story.